Hello and welcome to Herbie Reactions, this time it's come from John on Patreon. Now, Miss Ali X, she just dropped another album, it came out today, Girl With No Face. The album cover on Apple Music is creepy, it's like opening up and showing her face. Now I had to actually look up if I'd reacted to it, and I did like two, like, uh, two to three years ago now. I don't really remember the album, so I'm not sure if that means I really liked it or if I liked it and I just never got around to listening to it anymore. Please don't hate me, however, we're going in with this new album. I've heard the singles are good, I haven't listened to any of them, so we're going in with the full album experience. As always, yeah, you know we like to do it. The following cut to this will be on Patreon. Links are down below if you can support me like Johnny Boy is. If you want to buy any of my merch, you can check it out at benshout.com. Let's get it cracking. All right, nothing else to say. The opening song, Weird World. Let's go. So like a little synthy. Straight away. Definitely feels very weird. What's the language? Turn me bitter. What's that language? Like German? Women. Innocence being stolen, the world's weird, I'm weird, but now I know I am weird. I used to be a dream girl. Used to, I guess, think a lot of things before society and all those pressures kind of changed your thoughts, or maybe, uh, yeah. <laughs> Change your thoughts. Pressured you to do, you know, or think in certain ways. I love Hale saying at least he keeps his promise. Love, love, love that take on religion in terms of, you know, God we pray to, or like people who pray to God, and I guess he doesn't always answer people's prayers in the sense that you want him to, but the devil will. <laughs> <laughs> the devil will always be there for you. I love that very weird, very hypnotic, very dreamlike, a bit synthy. Is it a bit 80s? I don't know. Who knows anymore? Definitely gave me like a horror movie theme, which is absolutely my favorite thing. So I know Johnny, a boy, will be vibing this too. Next song, Girl With No Face, the title track. This should encapsulate everything the album has to offer us. Let's find out. Let's go. You got all these little like, little beaties. Yeah, like Dracula's on the piano.
put her little trance and push you in. It's literally like she's hypnotizing us. I mean, it's a four and a half minute song. I know I always complain about song lengths, but it definitely is such a long feel. Like, it definitely feels like, and maybe that's because you are quite trans, like, you just kind of, what the hell just happened? Like, I have no idea what that song's about. A girl with no face, clearly. Weird, like, maybe like, yeah, like a man-eater type of vibe. She'll mess you up, don't mess with her. So weird. Lyrics, again, it's definitely an album you're gonna need to listen to a few times and I guess understand what the hell the song's about. So if you do know, let me know down below. Very weird, dreamlike, Dracula, horror, hypnotizing weirdness. The best stuff. Next, <laughs> the next song was off with her tits. So there's that. Let's go. You got me in the tits. I thought I was a million, found out I was a twit. <laughs> Three minutes definitely felt just so full and you were so encaptivated. I don't know what it's about. I'm going to presume, yeah, obviously like a breast reduction, things like that. Or maybe, yeah, I guess fighting with how your body looks and things like that. So I guess it could be relatable to other things. Production, vocals, run, that bloody like, and then the fucking psycho production. I love that so much. That was sick. Definitely my favorite on the album. Like, that is the song I want to repeat. Next song is John and Jonathan. Let's go. Sounds like Shrek 2. Most of them have been so 
well written. That one wasn't interesting. Definitely a very immersive sound. Like I said, it definitely feels like you're being transported elsewhere. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel like classic 80s. It definitely has that gothic little feel to it for me, and it definitely is its own world. You can kind of paint your own picture. Very weird sound, and I suppose it's a sound that I haven't really heard per se. Obviously, you know, synths or church organs, things like that. But just the way it is, it's very, and I know it is meant to be a bit longer, clearly, and I know I'm now falling, you know, victim to TikTok generation where songs are shorter and now these longer songs are sounding so much longer. When really it's a four minute song, so it's not that long. Very cool, very weird. Let me know what it's about. Is it about little gay lords? <laughs> standing here, I don't know. Next song, Galena. Let's go. This one sounds different to the others. That song over four minutes but so different to the others. I mean, I suppose when I vibe a song so much more like anyone, they just fly by. So I like that there is that, you know, difference in terms of the song lengths. Feeling shorter when they're longer, etc. etc. Love that stunning God. It gave me such familiarity to another song. Don't ask me what it is. It's I don't know, it's I don't, almost like a bewitch kind of vibe. I guess that was that poppy vocal that was coming in there as well. That chorus though, Jesus, just perfection. Again, that's the song I want to go in and just have a repeat and just belt out. I think it was a bit sad of that actually would have probably made me cry because you just were like oh my god it kind of just didn't hit 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 there it got me there but not all the way there if that makes sense number 16 favorite number is the best song on the album let's find out it's called hardware software let's go Ooh. a bit of a reset or like change in direction That's probably like my least favorite in terms of what we've heard so far. Almost borderline interlude in terms of, I guess, the song lengths and how much the songs had. I mean, this one didn't lack anything production wise. It just, I guess, wasn't as hitting or emotively like driving as the others. Next song is Black Eye. Let's go. Oh, bloody drama, theatrics.
actually going to scroll the words into each other. Just such a climatical ending. Four and a half minutes again. She is giving us the goods. I actually really do appreciate that, you know, she's not buying into the trend and she is just giving music how she wants it to be given. Love that. Wow, that last minute and a half just absolutely took you there. You just wanted that chorus. It was a very addictive song because now you want to play it again. And even though it's four and a half minutes, it still is that hooky, repetitive kind of vibe. Don't ask me what any of this album is about. You guys are going to have to come in there and let me know. John, if you know anything, let me know. Let me know what your favorite songs are as we are going along. That was sick. Very, very cool. Only four songs left. I mean, that's still probably 20 minutes in terms of <laughs> her song length. Definitely takes you on a journey. Cohesivity is there. Storyline, I'm just going to presume, is there. The voice is there. The production is there. The weirdness of it all is just very intriguing. It's an album we haven't really heard this type of... I mean, I know we heard 80s and synth and all that, but this just feels different and it feels nice and it feels juicy. The next song, She Slept On Me. I kind of did that with her, so I hope she's going to call me out. Let's go. Queen of... 
her queer little backstory if she is or if a lot of gay people or queer people love her. <laughs> I wonder who Tide Queen is. Jib it us. Jab it, jab it. Whoever. Love it. Exactly what I needed. I'm sorry, AliEx. I'm sorry that I slept on you. If you give me that, you can absolutely tear me apart. That was sick. Drinking that Sprite, eating that Krispy Kremes. The best. So many bloody production changes there. It was so addictive. So weird. I think I've just fallen further down this little rabbit hole that she's taking us on. And now I'm just like... Let's go. Next time, sad a smile. Let's go. I wonder if it will be sad. I know I'd go over this album. These short songs sound interlude. I know they are, you know, minute, minute and a half shorter. I guess the production on the other songs is they're so intricate and while it's still very full on here, you're just like in and out and you're like, ah, oh, is that it? I love, I just love how you can be conditioned so easy within an album. And these songs, like I said, are just like, yeah, done. I love that though, that Lana Del Rey vibe, that real dramatic, sad, just, yeah, very operatic kind of vibe. Not my fave, but definitely did like it. I would definitely want to listen to that again and just really sink yourself into it. So yeah, very, very cool, very weird. I mean, yeah, that's the album. I suppose, I suppose at this point it's so weird but so addictive. Next song, Staying Power. Let's go. It's, it's so erratic as well, like, you just don't know what you're gonna get. Similar to that other Shrek song. Like, But this, I love like a contrasting, you know, list of lyrics. So bizarre, so hypnotic, so weird, just like so simple, but obviously there's so much in it, but it's just yeah, weird. What a freaking weird album. It's felt insanely long in the best possible way. It's only 44 minutes. Like, that is not really a long album. I suppose it's pretty standard. And I'm talking a lot about length. Whatever. That's just what I'm saying. I, yeah, I really have vibed this. We're, we're at the last song. Let's go with the last song, wrap it up and chat. It's called Truly Dreams. Let's go. Yeah. 
Like, how do you wrap it up? I'm so excited to hear what you guys think. Saddest smile could have been a lot longer. This one shortened. I get the message. I love the callback to weird world and things like that. You know, she's gonna keep dreaming no matter what the world, I guess, influenced her or you know, put social constructs on her. Love all that. Love the message. Just a bit of a weaker production-wise, a bit whiny towards the end. I was like, all right, go wrap it up. We get it. You're gonna go dream. Good on ya. You go do you. Other than that album, I probably would say that's probably the worst song for me. I love the message. I love the callback. I love all that, but. That and hardware software would be my two weakest songs. I wouldn't care if I listened to them again, or this one, like a radio edit or something. Wow, though, what a world, what an album, what a chickadee. I probably need to go listen to an album that I reacted to. I think it's Cape something. It's on here. Go check it out <laughs> if you want to see that. All my uncuts are on Patreon, as always. Thank you, Johnny Boy, for getting me on her on release day, letting me know to get to this. It's definitely within our realm of where, like, I think our love of music mixes or, like, the genres and all that weird stuff. That gothic little... 80s, what is it, synthy, techno -y, whatever vibe you want to call it. Love it, definitely an album you want to go through again and digest it because I couldn't probably, I can tell you the songs that really stood out, like Galena, Off With The Titties, Black Eye, You Slept On Me, Sad or Smile, like those ones really stood out so I can remember them sonically and how they sound, but yeah, I'm weird, 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 weird. <laughs> And a weird world. Yeah, definitely want to go listen to it again. Want to have it on repeat. Just want to vibe it, have it on, and just really immerse myself in her world. Which her song? Let me know down below. What the songs mean? Let me know down below. Is there anything else by her I need to check out? Let me know down below. I'd love to see the visuals. Let me know if she's done music videos for any of the songs. I know she released a few singles, so hopefully there are some visuals and they're strong visuals that really give us a sense of what she's trying to tell us. <laughs> I'm out of breath. It's bloody hot here today. She got us moving such a, yeah, almost like a, you definitely could rock out to it, but you're always just like in awe and you just want to really immerse it and just take it all in. Nice and deep. You know how we like it. Full on cast is always around Patreon. Links are down below. If you want to support me, you can do that or you can buy my merch. It's on benshout.com. You can have this on your titties, off with your tits or wherever you want to put it. You can do whatever you want. Other than that, how do you get?